This is an AQA A-level chemistry question based on the atomic structure and group two topics. Try each section, pausing as you go, and then review. So here's parts A, B, and C. And here are parts D and E. So a total of seven marks to be attained. Moving back to part A, we have got Elements in group two, use the periodic table to deduce the full electron configuration of calcium. So you need to be familiar with the order. 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, 4p. That will take you as far as you need to ever go. <clears throat> you need to know that s holds two, p holds six, d holds 10, although we don't need all of those for calcium. So hopefully what you've got is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. As a very quick check, you can, you can clarify on the periodic table that because it ends in 4s2, calcium is in the right-hand side of the, uh, the s sublevel, or the s block. B, write an equation with state symbols to show the reaction of calcium with an excess of water. I'm going to start by writing the full equation out, and I've included state symbols. Calcium plus water goes to calcium hydroxide plus hydrogen. What I then need to do is look at what can be broken up into its ions. Calcium is a metal. It can't. Hydrogen and water are both covalent. They don't get broken down to their ions, but our aqueous calcium hydroxide does. So, for the final answer... We take our calcium and water and hydrogen and leave them as they are, but we break the calcium hydroxide up into Ca plus 2 and 2 OH minus. Um, and that will also need the state symbols. What's the role of the water in the reaction with calcium? Well, if you take a look at the fact that the calcium has gone from Ca0 to Ca plus 2, it has been oxidized. So the water is the oxidizing agent. Moving on to part D, write an equation to show the process that occurs when the first ionization energy of calcium is measured. So first ionization is the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous atoms um, goes on to form one mole of gaseous ions, losing one mole of electrons. So I know I'm going from Ca to Ca+. Plus. I know that in doing so, I'm losing one electron, but I must include the state symbols as well. And we get to the final answer. And finally, for part E, state and explain the trend in first ionization energies of the elements in group two from magnesium to barium. Well, first of all, you have to know that the trend is a decrease. If you don't get that right, you can't get any explanation marks. But why does it decrease? Well, as you go down the group, the ions or the atoms get bigger as you descend the group. It is atoms, really, because the atoms lose the electrons to become ions, but they get bigger as you descend the group. And that means that there is a weaker attraction to the outer electron. You can also talk there in terms of distance from nucleus, greater shielding, and all of these things lead to the idea that it's easier to lose that outermost electron. That takes us to the end of this question. Thank you for listening.